Now it's time to, to buff the 1960s alligator skins I've been repairing and moisturising in the last week or two. Um, there's been quite a few, um, few films, um, short films over the last couple of weeks on this particular pair. Um, if you've not already seen them, they really were in a sorry state. Um, the skins had split quite severely. Um, there, was, there was at least a 30 millimetre hole. Um, th this one was split too, so I've repaired those. And once this has been buffed, those, those splits will be quite difficult to see, but they're to totally separate films. Um, these, these shoes are actually covered in, um, in moisturiser. It's, 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 it's matte, but they're kind of, they're dry to touch. And it just needs, um, it, we're at the final stage now, it just needs, uh, just needs buffing. I'm going to protect myself with my trusty old uh, towel. I don't want the uh, residue of the creams on my trousers. And um, I've, I've got a couple of brushes here. Um, one, one's completely clean. That's been, it's very soft. It's just an old, um, just an old shoe brush. It's very soft. It's been washed with shampoo. And I've, I've, I've blasted it dry, blow dried it with a hairdryer. And this one, um, this one's got residue of uh, polish still in there. So um, I'm actually going to, I've just got some kitchen towel. I'm just going to rub the brush. I want to get rid of the residue, the worst of it. You can see it rubbing off on, on, the, uh, on the towel. And so I'll use the two brushes. Let's just give this one a quick scrub to get rid of the worst. And uh, otherwise I'm just stirring in residue. There we go. So this, this one that I'm just giving a quick clean to, you can see the residues, let's get rid of that paper. Um, right, um, so I'll, I'll, I'll do two buffs with the brushes, one with the, with the, the, the brush that's slightly stained and one with a completely, uh, completely clean brush. Uh, you, don't, um, you don't attempt to polish um, with, with cream polishers, exotic skins. Here we go, this is coming up beautifully. Um, you can see there's got a lovely, uh, lovely sheen about it. Um, I'm not working in ideal conditions. Um, it's dark outside. It looks, it looks reasonable light, but I'm, I'm in a shop and there's, there's lights on the, on the outside of the shop. That's what's lighting up the pavement, but there's, there's no real daylight. <clears throat> and I'm working indoors with LED lights. It would be ideal if I've got daylight shining through this window behind me here. But, um, so it's a very easy process. Once the skins are fully moisturised, uh, give them a really, really good uh, dry buff, and that, that will include the soles. I've also um, moisturised the insides, the linings, and the inner soles of these shoes. Um, I have to take the tree out, and I will, uh, I'll buff that the best I can. So uh, you can see it's starting to start to come up quite shiny. Um, this is just dry buffing. There's no polish involved here. I'm just dry buffing the uh, the residue of the moisturising creams. I need to include the soles too. There we go. So the soles were moisturised. Um, just give them a quick. Uh, I'm not trying to get a shine. I just want to uh, make sure it's dry, supple, and clean. These these shoes they really were in quite a state. They're from the 60s. They've never really been looked after properly over the years. They were covered in just traditional boot polish, which, quite honestly, is the last thing you need to be using on an exotic skin. It, it doesn't help them to shine, it, um, it makes them rather listless and dull and it, it cracks and congeals horribly in the, um, between the scales. So I think that'll be enough with the dirty brush. Let's go for the clean brush now. Um, I know that one's clean, as I say, I've washed it with, a, with shampoo and blasted it with a hairdryer. The, 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 the longer you buff for, you get a, the, the, the better the sheen, quite frankly. It's, uh, I'm very pleased with the outcome. I'm really unpleased. I've, I've also sanded the edges and used moisturiser on the edges. Actually, let me use my dirty brush and get the, the first the first buff on the uh, on the very edges. Make sure I don't want to be getting residue on the cleaner brush. Not the end of the world to do. If I do, I just um, just stop, wash it, and re-dry it. There we go. Back to the cleaner brush. It's still quite clean. But it's remarkable, really. What uh, what can be brought back. These shoes, as I say, were in a sorry state. Very, you know, very depressed looking, curled up, cracks in the skins, very dry, covered in residue of crusty, crunchy boot polish. Right. Realistically, I would probably spend up to an hour doing this with the two brushes. You know, just buffing away any residue on the surface. The longer you buff, the deeper the sort of sheen you achieve. 
and I then finish with uh, with soft uh, soft cloths. This is I keep this in my in my briefcase actually. I carry it with me every day. Um, it's just a roll. It's actually Swain Swain and Aidney. It's uh, it's rather lovely. I'm not sure what it's for, but I use it for for keeping soft polishing cloths. So let's just choose one. This one. Um, it's an old bed sheet. It's incredibly soft and worn out, but beautiful for for fine finishing. Um, here we go. And that's it you know it's been it's been buffed with the as you just see me with the two brushes and then i would spend quite some time you know dry buffing um up to up to up to, up to an hour between the brushes and the uh, and the cloths and this gives a beautiful finish i won't uh, i won't bore you we keep going on there's no no point and to be fair the light isn't particularly good but uh, we've got a glare from the leds but you get the idea um what uh, what can be achieved Let's see if we can see that uh, crack. There was a horrible, there is a scar um, comes through this thick bit here, but obviously amongst all of these, all of these creases and natural, natural wrinkles that alligators have, it's very well hidden. You would never know it was there. That's a permanent repair that, yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased with these. Um, I've, have, I've ordered some new laces, some, some flat, three millimetre flat wax laces. They've not arrived in time, that's a shame, you know, I was really rather than to hoping to thread those up. But yeah, need to spend a bit of time on the other one. Um, I'm not going to be finishing with, with polish, that is it. Um, the dry buffing is, is all that you need to do on exotics. Um, it makes a dreadful mess if you try to, try to use traditional polishers. Um, a polish relies on the surface being flat to reflect light in one direction. That's what gives the shine. And of course, you won't get that from um, an exotic skin. Moreover, the